look into your options on the website, like for science or for art or science, like whatever your field of interest is, look at all the profs who are involved in that field, contact all of them with a polite quick email to try and meet with them in person, and then when you get, if you get a meeting with them in person, like some won't respond, some will respond unfavorably, some will be like, oh yeah, come and meet with me, then you can talk to them and you can start discussing like, the more like, like respective aspects of what you want to do your thesis on, what they want to do your thesis on together. And also it's very important that if you are going to meet with them in person, that you do a little bit of background research on what they're doing so that you don't get there and they're like, so, uh, what about this? And you're like, oh yeah, this. Yep. <laughs> no. So like, especially if you're science, make sure you read about what they're doing in their laboratory on the website. If it's art, make sure that like you have some knowledge of whatever relevant research want to do with them. Is there anything you guys want to add to that summary? Yeah. Um, don't think of it as a job interview item. Like they, like don't think of it as, as a job interview you're going to try and get them. Like they're supposed to fight for you. Okay? Because you can pick from a whole bunch of different people. You should email at least 10 different props you're interested in. Because the emails can be, are pretty similar too. Like you just put, I'm interested in your research in blank. <laughs> And like you go meet them and you talk to them, you don't only have to talk to them about their research too. <laughs> um, but you can just like talk about like see what they're like and whether you you connect to them and there's someone you want to work with for a whole year because that's that's really what it boils down to is like someone who's gonna write you the your probably your best reference letter um, and someone you're gonna be working with. So if you get someone cool, they'll probably work on your topic anyways. Just trying to find someone cool so that you're more passionate about your topic as well. Oh, the other thing is that if you don't know the prof you want to work with, you should contact them sooner than if you know them, just because like it's harder to get them to get you because they don't know that you're awesome yet. Um, the other quick thing is that um, if you are really interested in a prof, don't necessarily give up when they don't reply, just because like Sean, this is like a kind of specific case because like Sean already did know Kaborsi, but he emailed Kaborsi about doing a thesis and Kaborsi didn't get back to him. But then when he ran into Kaborsi, Kaborsi was like, of course, let's do a thesis. <laughs> like, that's important. Day by day. <laughs> so like, if, you, if there is a group you're interested in, especially if you do know them, if they don't get back to you right away, then maybe like, just go talk to them because you know them. And if you don't know them and they don't get back to you, but you're still really interested, Maybe like try to like set up something. I don't know. Like you can, yeah, don't be afraid to chase down a prop. Like I. Yeah. So the other thing is, especially if you have a, a clear idea of what you want to do as a thesis, um, use your like network. So outside props know a lot of other people who you know who are brilliant people who can supervise you, right? So like, let's say you're interested in like an econ something. Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't necessarily want to work with Dr. Kaborsky, but Dr. Kaborsky probably sure knows tons of other great econ props that would love to supervise you. So even if you know, even if you don't want to do a specific under so and so that a professor that you, profess that you know, um, use your social network. Like email quick and concise. Yeah. Quick yeah. and short, concise, short, polite, right. and asking for a meeting in person. Um, only if you're doing a thesis in something that you're not obviously like a part of, right? So like if you're just taking straight art side and you want to do a biology thesis. Um, probably mention you know which bio course you've taken at that point, or like what your experience with biology research is. Saying like I haven't taken cell bio or genetics, but back when I'm in Vancouver, I worked with someone in this research lab, so I have bio experience. So like they just want to know like so like, yeah. So if it, if it seems that you're out of contact with their research, provide them with the contact saying I actually know what I'm doing. I'm not going to fail you. Otherwise, it's okay. They also might request like your transcript yeah. or something. Like mine would be like, hey, pass that over. <laughs> no, not official, so I took a screenshot of my email with prof. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They don't hear official okay. transcripts. Yeah. Um, yeah. So mostly, like, you find that kind of like you can kind of you can prepare all you want for the, for the actual meeting, but what usually probably end up happening is that you remain silent for most of them. They talk for 40 minutes about the research, and then you nod and say, "Oh, that's very interesting." Yeah. <laughs> and then, like afterwards, you're like, "So." Did I get the position? Like, oh yeah, sure. And like that's how I that's how I went with both of those, like all three meetings I went to, right? I went to them. They're like, oh yeah. So like, how did you, so first of all, how did you find my lab? How did you find my research? So you had to prepare to answer that. And then you're like, oh, so then they're like, in my lab I do A, B, C, three subgroups. You might be interested in this, but oh, this project is a really good project in this, right? And those sort of start talking. So if they're probably in that like taking these students in that area, they're usually very very passionate about the research. So you actually don't have to do too much question and questioning. They'll probably do most of the talking in that. Yeah, and then they talk and you listen and see if they're if they're like if there are a lot of things you're interested in, if like there are people you're interested in, then you pick. Because it's ultimately it's you picking something. 
You might have one or two profs turn you down, but you're going to definitely have more profs to choose from than profs like... Yeah, you're definitely going to have a lot of profs to choose from, so...